On our second day in Taiwan, my friend and I toured Taipei, the country's capital. We started the day by visiting one of the oldest and popular temples in Taiwan. Longshan Temple was built in 1738 by Fujianese immigrants. Due to natural and man-made disasters, the temple has been repaired and renovated many times by locals. Although frequented by worshippers, the temple is open to tourists as well. We then walked to Longshan Temple Station, took the Banan Line, and exited at Ximen Station. From such station, we walked to one of the most popular landmarks in the city of Taipei. The Memorial Hall was amazingly huge. One can tell by just looking that it is sturdy and solid. Inside the Memorial Hall is a bronze statue of Chiang Kai-shek, a former president who ruled the country for around 25 years. During our visit, we witnessed the changing of guards which happens every start of an hour. Surrounding Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall are Taiwan's National Theater and National Concert Hall, all together complementing the beauty of the whole Chiang Kai-shek Park. The park was very attractive and picture perfect. Add the sunlight and bright skies, one would surely be charmed. We then walked to Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall Station, boarded the Tam Seng Shinyi Line and exited at Taipei 101 Station. Shortly after 1 o'clock, we arrived at the world's tallest building from 2004 to 2010. We proceeded to the 5th floor to claim our tickets for the observatory which was at 89th floor. The observation deck provides a 360-degree panoramic view of the city. Taipei 101 is kept stabilized by this wind damper, one of the largest in the world. It is suspended from the 92nd to the 87th floor by 8 steel cables. Its main purpose is to reduce the swing of the tower during strong winds and earthquakes. Visiting Taipei 101 felt phenomenal. At the lobby of Taipei 101 are shops and restaurants including Taiwan's famous Dumpling Restaurant. Din Tai Fung is known for its signature dish Shaolong Bao or Little Dumplings in a Basket, each carefully weighed and folded by hand. We then walked to Taipei 101 Station, boarded two different train lines, Exited at Taipei Zoo train station and finally walked to Taipei Zoo Gondola Station. Maokong Gondola is the first cable car system in the city of Taipei. It includes four passenger stations with Maokong Station being the last. For a better gondola experience, I strongly suggest taking the ride during daytime so you would have a better scenic view. To end our day, my friend and I went to Shilin Night Market. The places we've been to were just few of what Taipei has to offer. So, ano pa yung nakikita natin, Miss Alora? Ah, kailangan mo pang idilat ang mata mo. Ninabi niyo nga sa baba. Happy birthday! Buti na lang, friend. Ikaw yung kasama ko. Hindi ka matatakot.